Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. We're on here and uh, let me just continue playing Final Fantasy 16. So yeah, let's talk to Lubo. You wish to talk? I'm honored. You and I. Okay, you and I uh, have more in common than you think. Not only are we both masters of the blade and devilish, devilishly handsome to boot. But we are both the second people to bear our respective what? names. What? Well, you, uh, you didn't think Luzina Delamel, um was my own invention, did you? It was the name of my master. I inherited it from her. Okay, so it was a her. Uh, he, he just inherited the name, so... Along with her title and her smithy and sharing her name with on was the least I could do after all she did for me. She plucked me from the street at, uh, streets and put my less than nimble fingers to work making blades instead. Alas. Alas, it was to live my life as suddenly and unexpectedly as she had ended it. I swore to follow in her footsteps that I might change others' lives, uh, others lives as she had mine. This is why I keep her fortune alive. Why I play the desert hair? Why I care for the orphans of Delamere? Indeed, I had thought my obligation to Rance and Drica uh, to be my most pressing concern. This is until the infamous Sid made a surprise reappearance, rather muddy the uh, waters. Still? And still, I suppose there's enough of me to go around. But I do forgive if the, the desert hair isn't always at your back and call would, would warn you. Ours is a blessed corner of the Velcroy. A veritable oasis with clear running water and natural hot, spring, hot springs. I don't doubt that people have been gathering here since long before the founding of the Republic. Since it was founded, they have been gathering its even greater numbers to serve and the needs of the miners who worked uh, drag span and the soldiers who guard it and serve them they did lining their coffers far from the prying eyes and grasping fingers of the republican excisement uh, excisement excisement i don't know how to pronounce that correctly uh not that addicts um addicts from ran de la um, carry much weight in this part. Stellan Mill has long been something of a law unto unto itself. Here, those with the most money of or the most friends. At least the rules, they did. Until Kuka built the cat, the bed, built that castle of his in the at the heart of the Mother Crystal. Stellan Mill has been titled his freedom since then. And while his men may be liberal with their coin, they are anything but in the exercising of their authority, which, as I'm sure, I don't need to tell you, is so. absolute. So you see why those with the people's best interests at heart took it upon themselves to organize their own protection. My predecessor chief among them. How very fitting. That the number of soldiers of Dalmaki, the Dalmakia and Wallow uh, partners in arms on so many battlefields should also become partners in crime. Still, the merchants of Dalamir will be relieved to see them brought to justice. Brought to justice, many have been driven almost to ruin for one of crystal. I'm sure they would all be rushing to thank you for the service you have done them, if. Of course, they had any idea what that you have. Of course, of course. Uh, as long as we remain reliant, reliant uh, on the power of the crystal, we leave ourselves open to such explore, explosion, exploitation. Um, the peoples are such greedy. There's degrees. simply no other way. Life. Um, you must bring down each and every mother crystals in the twins and put an end. To the people's thoughtless dependence <laughs> and upon them, and try not to disappoint. Farewell now. I've never even forged a butter knife before. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. <sighs> Neither would I. Oh, wait. 
Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that, or pack my bags. I could give you a hand if you like. I know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind, the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Okay, I think I may just cut out of the, the process of this quest and let you see Trust the end. Trust to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I'd better get to it. The finest fabric! The most fragrant hut! All those years of toil! Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place! Are you alright? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dozenoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. Okay, another sign mission, I guess. Oh. Hanging lantern! Ah, they've opened the gate! Lubor was true to his word. Okay. Good. Doing the. We should get going. Mission. What do you want? Do you have water? Directions. Either take this road to the Fang, or piss off back the way you came. Okay. Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubo? A question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kuka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. Talmeki and Walud are allies, and as you've seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I fear there may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then...
Promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I've lost one Sid already. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. I don't plan on dying. Not before Kupka does, anyway. Well, so long as you have a plan. Faster! Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Shall we press on? Uh, yeah. Well, let me collect this first. One rock looks a lot like another. But hopefully this is what Seven needs. Okay. Let's go. I mean, there's another mission in front, so I need to and do that first, and then I can like go back um, and clear both of them on the same time um, at the same time. So. Oh, okay. Holy moly. There are a lot of them. By the flames. That explains the heat. Oh, what the hell? Oh, get inside. Get inside. All of you get inside, man. I thought it was going to explode or something. Let me, let me kill, kill the lower level one. I mean, this thing, I think this is a boss or something. No special item. Are you freaking kidding me right now? Run like the wind. Okay, some item here.
I mean, it's really hard, hard it's really hard to see the items before, because of the white, whitish background, I mean, they are all white and it's pretty hard to like spot, um, spot things. Okay, nice. Yeah, I guess that's it, right? I, I saw with my own two eyes what you did to those devils down there. And I still hardly believe it. Okay, believe it, seriously. Okay, I think... I think it's time to like get back to the city and then complete both of those quests. This is no good. I wasn't sure how much you'd need, but I hope this is enough. You are one of the good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now. Time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. <sighs> That'll do, I reckon. A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. Her spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lubor agrees. That sounds like my cue. And just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubor. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What do I think indeed? It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that? Hmm? The butcher? The hunter? The cooks over at the inn? Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava. Know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable. But only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an absolute fortune. There goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So much for the Forge Master's riddle, though, eh? <laughs> The spirit of Dalamil had nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. You've passed your test. That's all that matters. 
You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. Yeah, okay, finally completed this shit. I mean, he also know he also know that he had me running for no fucking reason at all. Uh, okay. Fuck you, screw you, and I'm going away. So yeah, I, I may have just cut those, cut the process out, and I mean, you might only see the end of the quest now. I don't know. Let's see. I was hoping we'd be seeing you again. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something due to worry about. But I burdened you with my worries enough already. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right, it's high time I got back to work. With a little luck, the day might yet be salvaged. I mean, your day may be salvaged. What about my day? I mean, <laughs> Nothing nice. Nothing nice. Sort of thing. Yeah, I have no use for those equipment because yeah, I have to like equip soon. others to like increase my attack and defense and cut uh, Ready go? the Fire one that helps you obtain more skill points. So Come on, because basically those equipment are fucking useless to me. I mean, for uh, right now. I mean, after I level up to the max, maybe then they will be like useful, useful to me. I mean, get that damned wagon fixed. Unless you'd rather our men in Dalamil starved. The axle's gone, Captain. There's nothing I can. Okay. Okay, let's go. There it is, Drake's Fang. Cuckoo will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. After what befell at Phoenix Gate, and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. And I'm sorry. Uncle, please. It's not too late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right, and there are those that would help you to take it back. Had I the courage of my brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has sailed, 
You, however, no. Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight to build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Only later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy, I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know? Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. <sighs> well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you, nephew. We have much to catch up on, you and I. I should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet. <laughs> you can regale me too, Torgal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you, Kuka. Okay, let's go. I think I have cleared that all of the side mission probably. Uh no nearby quest, so let's go. Hugo, the table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me. Me! If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead! You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust! And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. Do you see, Hugo? You are weak. Fuck! But 
that so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. The heart. What of it? A mother crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of ether in all creation. Perhaps you could take advantage of that. Of course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power, but others have suffered a similar fate, and still managed to find the strength to conjure their icon. Benedicta Harmon. She too drank of the ether and gained a power beyond human understanding. She did. Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Muthos is here. Very well, it shall be so. You may leave everything to me. Your Majesty. Bring them from ash. Okay, into the darkness. I mean, who the fuck is that guy just now? I mean, and what are those behind him? Seriously, I mean, are the beast and part of the Waluda army now? How the hell did that happen? Then is he the posse of Alpina? And seriously, those creatures, damn. What the fuck, man? Seriously, am I supposed to like. 
I don't know. To like not let them spot on me and do do this do this in with stealth or something. Me yeah, but I don't see any places to like fucking hide, I mean Seriously, I think I I need to like kill them or something, I mean. Yeah, I mean there's no way for me to the entire mine. I mean there there's no way for me to like hide. Um, what happened to crouching? I mean, You have the dog too. Guess. This is okay. I thought this is the path that I came from, but no. That's a treasure box here. Yeah, what about here? I forgot to check just now. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's go.
Yeah, I thought I can do do this um, with no damage to myself. So, but yeah, that made that ambush. They ambush me. Okay, I don't have the map to use. So I guess I have to like check everything. Okay, I guess there's nothing here. So let's go. Of lightning. I need to go that side. Okay, it gives me potions. So Won't we go any further this way? I probably I need to like, fight something. by a boss here. I think that's it. Yeah. Must be the way out. What the hell? Get in here. Let's try. What the hell, you bitch? What kind of boarding? You're gonna say you're trying to kick me off. Get down here.
Okay, guys. Sorry, sorry about the cut. So I need the right I mean, Come on, man. Seriously. I mean, just me, the right, I mean. <laughs> God damn it. Um. Okay. Need to go to that door. Um. Wait, did I came from that door? On the right? I mean, on the left? Or did I come from this door? I think I came from that. This door. Yep. So we are no side paths then. So let's go. Kuka never did do things by halves. As if taking the Mother Crystal for his own wasn't enough. He had to build his castle in it. What is this like freaking beautiful damn? Battle, I guess. <laughs> Let the trial begin. God damn it, I mean how the hell do I dodge that? Give me thunder, let's go. Take that bitch. Let's go all out. Okay. That's not good. What the guy? Let's see you have. I guess the only way is to like take cover on his back, so I mean god damn it. So Oh 
Okay. Yeah, luckily I lost the that. Don't kill your ass. Take this bitch. The Undertaker of Angrid. So this is the power of Muthos. Okay, alright guys, yeah, I think I will stop this video right here and then continue in the next one. So be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and please give this video a like, and share this out to your friends, that really help me out. So really thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!